Five, it's no secret many small business owners are struggling. At the Virginia Beach oceanfront, city leaders say the worst may be yet to come. As 13 News Now reporter Connor Real found out, for at least one business owner, the worst is already here. Ah, the boardwalk during the summer. Busy and bustling. Activities galore. But these days, outside of grocery stores, busy and bustling is a tough concept to come by. So what are the activities that thrive off those crowds? The ones that we're currently working through are the boardwalk vendors that serve treats, if you will. We're, we're trying to work with them as to when an appropriate date would be to open. Okay, so no hot dogs to burn off, but exercise is still allowed, including bike rentals. The two-wheel bikes um, are considered exercise. The Surrey, you're part of the same family because obviously you're within six feet of each other. Then basically quarantined together and you're all pedaling, you're all exercising, um, you're allowed to use the surreys. Sunbathing is prohibited. The umbrellas and cabanas and chairs on the ocean front, we are looking to delay those at least till after June 10th. So most businesses can just sit and wait, but one can't afford to. With us coming out through the tail end of winter, uh, it wasn't long. Uh, before spring got started where we were shut down. Chase Foster, owner of Virginia Beach Horseback, well, his season only lasts through May, so waiting on possible June reopenings is not an option. During the uh, downtime, it's going to create a level of hardship until we uh, receive some type of uh, assistance. Foster, ever the optimist, is hopeful. I believe that, you know, if you don't give up, that it's never over. In Virginia Beach, I'm Connor Real, 13 News Now. If you own a business in Virginia Beach, you can share your experience during the pandemic with city leaders. A business needs assessment survey just opened online. It asks questions like, did your business have to close? Have you furloughed or laid off workers? How concerned are you about closing permanently? We have a link to the survey on 13newsnow.com. Search links in the news. We